sustainable agriculture cannot be achieved without a strong scientific base. Ensuring that South Africa's food, medicinal and horticultural needs are reliably met requires constant innovation and high levels of technical expertise and competing successfully on the international markets necessitates world-class products. Since 1949, the Vegetable and Ornamental Plant Institute of the Agricultural Research Council has been leading the way in conducting research and developing appropriate new technologies. The reason why we do this research is to optimize the profits for our farmers, to make sure that they have the benefit of the soils and the climate that they have on their particular farm and that they can farm optimally and make a profit. The other side of the work that we do focuses on food and nutrition security. So in the breeding programs we don't only look at quality but we also look at um, the nutritional value and the nutrition content of the varieties that we develop. We have a number of um, highly qualified scientists and then we have a great team of people that take the information from the scientists and package it in a way that our farmers have access to that information. Now we do it in different ways. We um, develop training manuals and information sheets um, that is applicable for a wide range of farmers. We have um, manuals that are focused at commercial farmer level, but also manuals that are simplified for the farmers that cannot read or write. And we also then adjust the training programs that we have accordingly. Without doubt, South Africa's agricultural success lies in the effective application of scientific innovations and interactive exchanges with farmers, especially smallholders and emerging farmers. We hosted the information day with partners, that is the Land Bank and Shanduka Black Umbrellas. Uh, the third partner we, we invited was Sylvan Spawn. They are the producers of the oyster mushroom spawn. And it was very important to have all these three partners provide this crucial information uh, because the ARC as a technology partner can only provide technical information about growing oyster mushrooms. But that information alone is not enough to make a successful farmer. So the land bank uh, came to provide information on how they sponsor emerging farmers. And Shanduka came to provide information on how they incubate the farmers for business management. We have developed um, 1,200 people in the past two years that have graduated through our system and each one of these farmers will be a mentor to five other farmers. So I think if you can look at the multiplication factor of having 1,200 people that can each support five other people, we are making a great impact. We also do a lot of training for our commercial farmers, specifically in hydroponic production and potato production, which is more high input, high level um, production farming systems, which cost much more but also have higher returns, but it also has a high level of management. vitro tissue culture laboratory and uh, basically we carry out three major services one is the maintenance of uh, genetic materials in vitro secondly we are also involved in uh, the elimination of viruses from uh, tissue culture materials the third one is that we are involved in the mass propagation of uh, uh, genetic materials in tissue culture. And lastly, this uh, facility also serves as the quarantine facilities for imported materials that come into the country to make sure that the materials that are imported are disease-free before we release them for use. This facility is uh, an internationally accredited facility. It is uh, certified by the Independent Potato Seed Producers Association. So we have a very good partnership with the potato seed producers. This is the beginning of the potato industry, if I can say. 
All the materials that comes out of here goes into the potato industry. The mini tuba production use these clean materials to produce potato seeds, which they uh, sell to the commercial or you know, maybe small scale uh, potato producers. We have two ways that we are engaging with the youth. On the one hand, we are um, involved with the training of students. There's quite a number of students actively involved in research programs within the Institute. Um, recently, we have developed a medicinal plant incubator where we do active component and determining the active ingredients of medicinal plants linked to the cultivation practices. And there's quite a number of young um, scientists involved. In our programs that we have with smallholder farmers and communities, we are um, focused on developing young people and also exciting them about agriculture. Although often neglected and underutilized in South Africa, indigenous vegetables offer unique opportunities to diversify farming systems. These robust plants can help to promote food security and alleviate poverty by increasing income and meeting health and nutritional needs. The past three years I've met with the ARC. The ARC came to my place, really, they've given me training of how to do the seedlings, they've given me support, they even give me labors. I'm now with uh, these indigenous vegetables and uh, we are going to export uh, the very same uh, vegetables. We have um, a partnership with the CSIR, which is the, the main partner in some of the vegetable work and the indigenous vegetable work where we do the value chain development, the processing or the post-harvest work. They are the partner that will then develop the products. The IRC support to production specifically for the African and indigenous vegetables is key before we can start adding value through processing and then our commercial partners can take it further to use it as an ingredient in a variety of final products and then eventually it ends up on the shelf for the consumer to use. Having developed or improved a large number of the beneficial plants grown in South Africa today, this distinguished institute continues its proud record of outstanding service to the agricultural industry.